What transformed Google search from keyword matching to actually understanding what you mean? BERT. No, I'm not talking about that BERT. I'm talking about the one that stands for bi-directional encoder representations from transformers. Before this breakthrough, search engines struggled with context and nuance, often missing what users actually meant. After BERT, oh, Google finally yeah. gets it. But BERT didn't just fix search. It's now saving lives in hospitals, stopping fraud before it hits your bank account, and helping me turn government paperwork into a million dollar business idea. When BERT launched in 2018, it didn't just improve AI language understanding, it dominated. It set new records on 11 different language tasks, jumping performance by seven full points on the industry benchmark. Now, before we look at why BERT is so great, we need to go back in time and look at a fundamental problem that was holding back every AI language model before it. Let's rewind to pre-2017 NLP when the go-to models were RNNs, recurrent neural networks. Now by themselves, they are great models, but they have an underlying bottleneck. They have to be trained sequentially. Picture the problem. Each word enters the network one after another, like cars funneled through a single lane toll booth. The model has to wait for token T to finish before it can process token T plus one. Longer sentences mean longer computation graphs and GPUs can't batch those steps. As sequences grow, memory chokes and training crawls. Worse, the information fades. Classic papers dubbed it the difficulty of learning long-term dependencies. Gradients either explode or more commonly vanish. So the model forgets words that occurred dozens of tokens ago. This bottleneck was crushing AI progress. But in 2017, everything changed. In 2017, a research paper with a bold title, Attention is All You Need, was released. And it wasn't just catchy, it was right. Instead of using RNNs that read one word at a time, the authors proposed something crazy. Let every word look at every other word simultaneously. This was called self-attention, and it meant the model could understand the entire sentence's meaning in one step. So, if the sentence was, she said that movie wasn't bad, the model wouldn't just look at bad in isolation, it would consider wasn't, movie, she said, everything, all at once. The kicker? It was massively parallelizable. Unlike RNNs which processed one token at a time, self-attention could be processed in parallel across GPUs. Training times dropped from days to hours, and performance shot through the roof. The paper shook research labs almost overnight. And just like that, the transformer architecture was born. The original transformer had two parts, an encoder that reads and understands text, and a decoder that generates new text. But BERT only uses the encoder part, and that's actually why it's so good at understanding language. So transformers didn't just beat the old models, it redefined the blueprint for everything that came next. And what came next was BERT, which took that transformer blueprint and solved the biggest remaining challenge, how to train it efficiently. Instead of needing humans to label millions of examples, BERT teaches itself by playing a giant fill in the blanks game. Show it a sentence like, the cat sat on the mask, and BERT learns to predict mat by understanding the context around the symbol mask. This is called unsupervised learning. You can feed it raw text without any human annotations. So how exactly does this mask language modeling work? Let's break it down. The researchers designed BERT to randomly mask out 15% of the words in a sentence. But here's where it gets interesting. They don't just replace every masked word with mask. Instead, they use a clever three-way strategy. 80% of the time, it receives the actual mask token. My dog is masked, so it predicts Harry. 10% of the time, it receives the word with a completely random word. My dog is apple, and it still predicts Harry. And 10% of the time, the input leaves the word unchanged. So my dog is Harry, Bert will still predict Harry. Why this weird mix? Because during fine tuning, BERT will never see mask tokens in real text. This strategy forces the model to always pay attention to context, even when the word looks normal. But here's the key thing. Unlike previous models that could only look left to right, BERT can look at words on both sides of the mask. So when predicting the word hairy in the sentence, my dog is mask and fluffy, it uses my dog is and and fluffy to make the prediction. This bi-directional context is what makes BERT so much more powerful. And Google went big with the training data, the entire English Wikipedia plus thousands of books and articles. Not only did the researchers pre-train BERT to predict mask words, they had a second trick up their sleeve. Next sentence prediction. Think of it like a reading comprehension test. BERT learns whether two sentences naturally follow each other or if they're just random. But wait, how does BERT actually learn whether sentences go together? This is where the CLS token comes in and it's pretty clever. Every input starts with the special CLS token, followed by sentence A, then the SEP token or separation, 
Then sentence B. Think of CLS as BERT's detective token. Its job is to figure out if these two sentences belong together. Here's the magic. As the input flows through BERT's transformer layers, that CLS token uses self-attention to look at every single word in both sentences. It's like a detective gathering clues from the entire crime scene. By the time it reaches the final layer, the CLS token has built up a complete picture of how sentence A and sentence B relate to each other. So if you feed Bert, I went to the store and I bought some milk, CLS learns these clearly go together. If you feed it, I went to the store and the moon is bright tonight, CLS learns these are probably random. The final CLS representation gets fed into a simple binary classifier that predicts is next or not next. And get this, Bert achieves 97% accuracy on this task, meaning it becomes incredibly good at understanding how human sentences naturally flow together. This sentence relationship understanding is exactly what makes BERT so powerful for tasks like question answering. It doesn't just understand individual words, it understands how ideas connect. Pre-trained with both of these tasks, BERT is ready to be fine-tuned on any NLP-specific task. And this is where BERT gets really impressive. The same pre-trained model can tackle completely different challenges just by adding a simple output layer and fine-tuning. What makes this so powerful is the transfer learning effect. Bert has already learned the fundamental patterns of language, grammar, context, relationships between words. When you fine tune it for medical text, for example, you're not teaching it language from scratch. You're teaching it medical vocabulary and domain specific patterns while leveraging all that pre existing language intelligence. The numbers are striking. Tasks that used to require over 100,000 training examples now work with just 1,000 to 3,000. Training times drop from weeks to hours. The same pre-trained BERT checkpoint can be fine-tuned into completely different specialists simultaneously. This is why BERT was such a paradigm shift. Instead of building custom architectures for every single NLP task, we suddenly had a universal language foundation that could adapt to anything. Let me show you five real-world examples of how this was done. First up, Google search on a massive scale. Since 2019, BERT affects 1 in 10 searches. That's over 100 million queries every single day. Those times when you type a longer, conversational search and Google seems to read your mind, that's BERT understanding context and intent, not just matching keywords. The breakthrough was so significant that Google deployed it globally overnight, improving search results for billions of users worldwide. Second, healthcare AI that's literally saving lives. Researchers fine-tuned BERT on 28.4 million patient records to create medical chatbots with 98% accuracy. BioBert can analyze medical literature and answer doctors' questions with 89.7% accuracy. Imagine having instant access to the knowledge of every medical paper ever written. Hospitals are using BERT to process clinical notes automatically, giving doctors more time with patients instead of paperwork. Third, Netflix's content intelligence at scale. Netflix uses BERT to analyze text summaries and descriptions of thousands of movies and TV shows in their catalog. When Netflix needs to understand whether a new horror film is more like a psychological thriller or a classic slasher, Bert reads the plot summaries and converts them into numerical representations that capture the story's key themes and elements. The system takes these Bert process summaries and turns them into embeddings that helps Netflix identify similar content, predict how many people will watch in different countries, and make smarter decisions about which shows and movies to greenlight ultimately helping determine what content will connect with Netflix's 195 million subscribers worldwide. And finally, I'm building my own BERT model that reads government contract requirements and automatically extracts them to help contracting companies write better proposals. Instead of spending weeks manually combing through dense legal documents, BERT can identify key requirements in minutes. I'm turning this into a B2B company because the market need is huge. Government contracting is a multi-billion dollar industry where missing a single requirement can disqualify your entire bid. This isn't just theory for me. It's real business value I'm building right now using everything I've explained in the video. The same techniques powering Google search and medical AI, they work just as well for solving niche business problems that can generate serious revenue. This has you excited to try building something with Brit yourself. Here's where to start. The easiest way is Hugging Face Transformers. It's a Python library that gives you access to Bert and hundreds of other models with just a few lines of code. They have a website called Hugging Face and it has a bunch of stuff on there. You can go on Kaggle that has a bunch of these tutorials and they have a bunch of data sets on there too. If this breakdown helped you understand how one of the most important AI breakthroughs actually works, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the technology that's quietly running our world. And if you decide to build something with Bert, drop a comment. I'd love to see what you create. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.